Hi there. Now in previous videos I've introduced you to the vector product or cost product and what I want to show you in this video is one application of it and that is finding the area of a triangle. Now you should be familiar with the area of a triangle if we've got two sides of lengths A and B and the included angle is theta then the area is equal to a half AB sine theta. Now suppose this side here is the vector A, okay? So we we'll just do a squiggle underneath that. And similarly, this side here is the vector B. Notice that I've got A and B coming away from this vertex here. That's very important when you're doing questions like this. Now, do you notice that this part in blue here, AB sine theta, is the magnitude of the cross product between the two vectors A and B. So what we've got here is that this is equal to a half and if I put this part here as being the magnitude of A crossed with the vector B then that's going to give us the area of the triangle. Now it doesn't matter whether you do B crossed with A. Remember I showed you earlier that A crossed with B was minus B crossed with A. But because we're finding the magnitude then we're going to neglect that negative sign. Now I'll give you an example. Okay, Let's suppose we've got A having coordinates 2, 1, 5 B having coordinates 4, 2, minus 1, and C having coordinates 3, minus 2, 1. And we've got to find the area of the triangle ABC. How would we do that? Well, we're going to use this particular concept. You might want to just pause the video at this stage and just have a go at this. But I'll take you slowly through the work solution. What I'd want to do first of all, though, is just sketch a triangle can be any shape you like okay and let's label it a b c and so we've got the coordinates of a b and c and we'll just have an origin say there o now if i take for instance theta to be the angle between a b and a c you can take theta to be either at B or at C, but what you've got to be careful about, though, is to make sure that your vectors come away from the vertex. So if I do this example here, then I'm going to be working with the vector AB and the vector AC. And I'd encourage you to experiment. Try uh, another couple of vectors and check that you get exactly the same answer as I do. Well, if this is the case, then we need to come up with the vectors AB and AC. And in the usual way, we're going to get something like this. AB will be OB minus OA, and that will turn out to be 2, 1, minus 6. And similarly for AC, you're going to get 1, minus 3, minus 4. So to get the area of the triangle ABC, then... For this version here, it's going to be half the magnitude then of the vector AB crossed with the vector A to C. Or AC crossed with AB makes no difference because we're finding the magnitude. So what we end up next is this line here. This is equal to half then the magnitude, and I've done this in red, okay, just so that I can see the difference or show you the difference between the magnitude and the determinant. It is a little confusing. So if you're doing it obviously in the same color, I would make that line a lot longer than what you've got for your determinant. So we've got the ijk here, and then I've got the components of the vector AB and the components of the vector AC in the two corresponding rows there. Now, to save time, I've worked this out, I've expanded it. It's going to be half then times the magnitude again then of this determinant. So when we expand that, 
we get i times the determinant 1 minus 6 minus 3 minus 4 minus j times the determinant of 2 minus 6 1 minus 4 and then plus k times the determinant of 2 1 1 minus 3 and if you work this out you end up with this result here so do check that out let's just section this off here because it tends to be running into it now we need to work out the magnitude then of this and we've got half then times the root of 22 squared plus 2 squared plus 7 squared and that comes to or well, the root part comes to the root of 537 and we're halving it so it's going to be the root of 537 over 2 and that would be square units. So what I'd encourage you to do as I said earlier is try this again working with other vectors okay like CB with CA or BA with BC. Make sure that your vectors come away from the vertex that you use and you should get this answer. Okay so there we go how we can apply the cross product or vector product to get the area of a triangle.